Baseball reared its ugly head again yesterday, tied up at four apiece in the top of the 13th inning. And before this, Pavetta was absolutely dealing. Fastballs top of the zone, fastballs right down the middle, nasty curveball, nasty changeup, fastball, fastball, changeup, curveball. The curve was absolutely disgusting. This breakdown is brought to you by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash jumble. You get 20% off and free shipping. Keep it clean. Let's get into it. Kiermaier's up, 13th inning, runner on. That's a curveball, sits on it, curveball top of the zone. Catcher says, calm down. They wanted that strike. 3-0, pours it right down the middle. Fouls back to 3-1, full count in play. Is it going to go over the wall? Is it going to land on the track? It hits the wall on the fly, then hits the right fielder, then goes back over the wall. Huh? What? Does the runner score? Is this guy hungry? Is he heartbroken? Yes. And we got a little side-by-side to show you what happened. Yandy's running on the pitch because it was 3-2. It's in the air. It hits the wall, and then it hits the fielder right there as Yandy's rounding third, and he's heading home. Going to take a good two-throw relay to get him because they're deep in the outfield. I know Renfro's got a good arm, but even with the bobble, if that lands on the ground, there's no way Yandy doesn't score. And now the rules... The ones that, you know, I think of a lot originally is that if a ball gets thrown into the dugout or out of bounds, the runners get two bases from where they are at the time of the play. But this isn't on purpose. It's on accident. So what the hell is the rule? That's what everyone's wondering. You can see Joey Wendell go, what does that mean? And everyone's like, I don't know. And they're trying to tell it hit the body. It hit him. Everyone's trying to figure it out. The umps put on the headsets. They're going to call New York and figure it out. And they're like, everyone's talking. Everyone's got different ideas. Phillips is like, dude, that could be a homer. And this guy says, that's two bases. And they say, yeah, Kiermaier's at second. Yandy's at third. Kiermaier's like, fucking kidding me. And then the ump's going to come explain it to him, and he's going to let him know that any bounding fair ball deflected by the fielder into the stands or over under a fence on fair or foul territory, in which case the batter and all runners shall be entitled to advance two bases. And Kiermaier's like, wow, wow. Cash is going to come out. He's going to say, isn't there a rule that if it says that if it was intentional and the um says, no, 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 it doesn't say that. But it kind of does say that pass and tweeted out saying that, you know, if a fielder has complete possession of a battered or thrown ball and then deflects or kicks the ball out of play, the award is two bases from the position of the runners at the time the ball was kicked or deflected. So if it was intentional, Yandy would have scored, but it's not intentional. It's It's accidental, so they get rewarded for the bad fielding. And the reason Cash isn't arguing this ruling is because Cash knows this rule. Two seasons ago, Tommy Pham booted that ball into the crowd, and at the time, Gritchick was on first base, and he rounds third, and he goes home. But Cash came out. He knew the rule. He says, uh, you need to send him back. And they go under the hood, and they're like, yeah, you're right, Kevin Cash. You do know this rule really well. We do need to send him back. And Gritchick is thinking what we're all thinking. He's like, well, I could just throw it into the stands then. And he's going to ask the umpire, hey, why don't I just throw it into the stands? And the ump says, if you do something intentionally, that would be intentional. And Gritch's like, yeah, but what if I just run into it like that? And that's exactly what Renfro did, but not on purpose. But what? And the ump kind of laughs, and he's like, oh, no, no, no. You have to you have to field it intentionally. So blah, 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 blah. Yarbrough gets out of that inning, and he makes a funny face, so I kept it in the video. <laughs> What's up, Yarby? How you doing? Congrats on the newborn. So Kevin Cash knew all about that rule. That's why he didn't really argue. And like the rule was applied just as the rule's written, but they got job there because there's no way Yandy doesn't score, and that's the go-ahead run. And now you still got two in scoring position. Zanino's up. He goes a little curveball first, high fastball for strike two. High fastball gets out of it, marches to the dugout, starts screaming. Let's fucking go, boys. And you know what? The Red Sox are going to go because when you catch a break like that, you're going to win the game and you're going to win the whole damn thing. And I love Piv going down the line. So now the next inning, a 3-2 pitch to Renfro, the guy it deflected off of. (laughs) He's going to go to score the winning run. The guy it deflected off of. Oh, my God. First pitch to Christian Vasquez. He's going to pop it right over that giant wall in left field, celebrate the whole way around. What a turn of events. Baseball twists its ugly knife into the Rays. Just such an unfortunate bounce. Look at that. That is a team that is happy with the sizes and the dimensions of their field because Kiermaier's home run is out in a lot of places and Vasquez's home run is over the monster. But 
you play in the field, you're playing. That's the beauty of baseball. We got the water bottle shower. Pretty good. Getting everybody wet. Everyone's having a grand old time. We're going to get a big bucket dump. Kiermaier thinking, what the fuck? That's crazy. Really? Oh, Kenny Rose getting wet. Look at that. They got more Kenny than Christian. Just a little too preemptive. I do love the extra water bottles. And then I love this move by Arroyo. He's going to take the water bottle, go upside down, top of the head. Boom. Tease off. And they are getting silly in Fenway. Look at those hairless bodies. I bet they use Manscaped. I bet they use the Lawnmower 4.0, the whole performance package. You can get yours today. Manscaped.com slash John Boy 20% off plus free shipping. Look good. Party hard. <laughs> Look good. Party hard.